Frequently, at the conclusion of crucifixion, the audience has responded with a rare tribute of silence. Carl Van Vechten wrote, Many a listener comes away from one of her recitals uncertain whether he has enjoyed an aesthetic or a religious experience. So completely fused are the two ideals in this great artist's own nature. This is Mariana. Miss Anderson's home in Connecticut. Here among the rolling hills, the trees, and the land she loves deeply, she rests between the strenuous seven-month tours, which may average 60 concerts and cover 20 to 30,000 miles of travel. Asked once how she felt about these by an interviewer, she answered, we are interested in singing so that somebody will leave feeling a little better than when he came. There's relaxation in the work at Mariana, too the satisfying small activities of rural living, weeding the vegetable patch or sewing the new curtains for spring. Her active, energetic mind constantly finds new hobbies and interests. She's been experimenting with upholstering and has become a very proficient amateur photographer, processing the many shots she makes while on tour. But always she manages to return to her favorite hobby, puttering with a new recipe in the spacious country kitchen. And finally, all too soon, the moment when Mariana becomes a place of serious work as another tour is scheduled to begin. It's heralded with the arrival of Franz Rupp, who has accompanied Miss Anderson for the past 10 years. Here, in the quiet privacy of her studio, they'll carefully select the repertoire for the tour. And then every number, whether new or sung many times before, will be rehearsed painstakingly. Lord. 
After weeks of intensive work, the first concert date looms up. Her seven bags are packed. They'll contain no elaborate wardrobe. Instead, her sewing machine, a portable radio, typewriter, and several cooking utensils. Between the endless train rides, a little of the unfinished work of Mariana will be continued. But always the great devotion will be those fulfilling and intense moments when she lifts her voice in songs. 